Hello everyone, and welcome to the 100th video, the 300 subscribers are special, the one year anniversary of the railway shed. As of the day that this video is uploaded, it will be exactly one year since I po posted my first video on this channel, which some of you might remember was my locomotive collection, 2023. As I said, it's been one year since I started this channel, so today I'd like to take you all through an updated collection of all the locomotives, or at least the operational ones that I own. I also want to thank you all for 300 subscribers. That is just so many, I can't believe it. For, as I said in the Christmas special, a video, a channel I started just for fun, really, has gotten this far, and I genuinely can't believe it. Thank you so much, all of you, for being there for everything, liking, commenting, subscribing, and watching all my videos. It's been such a big boost of motivation to me and doing this hobby to have an audience. As I also said, this is my 100th video, well, including shorts, so on average I put out a new video every 3.65 days. Which is hard to believe that it was that many in total. So, without any further ado, let's start with the first engine of my collection. First up is my first ever Hornby locomotive, or model engine for that matter, and this is the 2008 Hornby Thomas the Tank engine. I've had this model for as long as I can remember, and just before the old layout came up, I managed to get him running again, and he's been one of my most reliable performers since. I'm so glad that this model still runs. We also have my only currently operational Percy, this one being the 2016 design. Next up we have the 2016 Hornby James. I, I got this model for a Christmas quite a few years ago and I'm glad to say it's still in amazing running order. Then we've got the Hornby Edward. Now, I know many people don't particularly like the Hornby Edward, but I picked up this model brand new for only £60 not too long ago. Then we have the Backman Gordon. Though slightly one of the mo more disappointing models I own, it's definitely still one I'm glad to own. Sticking with the Thomas theme, we have the 2020 Bagman Europe Thomas the Tank Engine. Then, not standard gauge, but one of my only two 009 models, is the Bagman Reneus. We also have this Hornby Clockwork Thomas, which I got at a charity shop this year for only two pounds. And keeping with the theme of clockwork, we have my other clockwork engine, the Hornby Edward. Now, during the construction of the current layout, Edward, Edward took a tumble off the table and smashed into many pieces. So I repaired what I could of him with superglue. But luckily, he still is operational. Now let's get on to some of my more real engines, shall we say. Here we have the Hornby, well, what I call Edgar, from the Country Flyer set. This was also one of my first engines. Then we have a bit of a hodgepodge. This is Roger, which originally was just another normal Hornby Holden tank, but 
modified to use a newer chassis as well as have different color buffers this model also runs quite well sticking with the 040 theme we've got what nearly every model railway collector has in their collection a Hornby Smoky Joe we also have one of these pug engines in Caledonian blue this was from the Lowland Carrier set, which was one of my first four engines. I also have the Hornby Coca-Cola Bagnall locomotive, which runs on the same chassis as all the rest of the 040s. We also have a bit of a repainted Triang Dock Shunter, which I found in a charity shop job lot. One of the newer additions to my collection is this older Hornby LMYR Pug. This is also a really good shunting engine. Moving on to 060s, we've got this Hornby older tooling, LBN SCR A1 number 44 Fulham. This is a limited edition model of which I believe there is only 2,000 of. So this is definitely a lovely engine to have. It's also a very great shunter, probably the most reliable of my collection. Next we have an older Midland Railway livery, Ginty from Hornby. This is one of the older models in my collections, but is quite a decent runner and was used quite a lot in the first sort of batch of videos I ever made. Then to a representation of one of my favourite engines of all times. This is a Backman London Transport livery pannier tank. I got this as well, on my 10th birthday I was able to have a small cab ride on L92 which is a classmate of this locomotive. This particular locomotive, however, is numbered L97. Another Jinty is this Hornby BR Black one, which I believe is DCC fitted, but haven't run it well yet. A favourite of mine is this Hornby LBSC E2 class which is probably one of my more reliable runners. This is the second D2 I've ever had, and this is definitely the better one. Another earlier model in my collection is this Hornby Great Western Pannier Tank without an enclosed cab. This is one of the fewer DCC locomotives that I have in my collection. Probably one of the older locomotives I've had in my collection is this Hornby, Hornby Dublo I2 locomotive, or L2 locomotive, I can't remember exactly which one. For its age, this is a really reliable runner, and sometimes even beats out some of the newer runners in my collection. Another locomotive in this collection, probably the newest one to my knowledge, is this reused Hornby Thomas the Tank engine which is based off the E2, in an SE and CR green livery. This is my only engine of this livery. It also runs decently well, except for the problem with the coupling rods. Here is a Triang 08 type diesel electric shunter. This locomotive will only cost me £15. Rivaling the L2 for its age, is this Triang 08 shunter with slight warping of the body. I've still got all the original information for this locomotive within its box and dates this locomotive to very early 1960s. Another hodgepodge of sorts is this Hornby Railways London North Eastern Railway Tang engine. I'm not 100% sure which one. 
I had to swap out the wheels on this particular model with a set of older Thomas wheels as the current ones were just getting too dirty to do anything with and I couldn't seem to clean any of the grit off it but now it runs quite reliably. Then we have the previously reviewed Airfix 1400. Not too great of a runner but quite nice detail on this one. Now let's start with some of the bigger tank engines. Here we have a Triang Hornby M7 in BR Black. This probably has some of the best features of any model in my collection. However, doesn't run all too great on the newer type of track. Still a lovely model though. Then we have a Lima Small Prairie. This one I got at the Statfold Barn Exhibition this year. This is probably one of the most reliable Lima runners I've ever had. It's a really nice engine to see go round. I've also got an Airfix Large Prairie. This one doesn't run all too great, but still is a lovely model to have regardless. Then we have the biggest tank engine of my collection, which is a Hornby 4P. Here is a pug for size comparison of that engine. Moving on to tender engines, this is the star of my second most popular video, the Midlander. This is a Dealey 3F and a Triang model at that. This was the mould eventually used to create the Hornby James. Still a great runner. Another recently reviewed engine is this Triang, 3F, oh, Triang B12, which is a lovely engine for its detail and age. I recently took this one to pieces to give it some lubricant and it runs far better than it did in back in the review. Another locomotive not yet reviewed is the Hornby Toplink B17, this one in particular being Manchester United. I've had problems with this one's motor, but other than that it's quite a decent runner. A review of this one will be coming out soon enough. Then we have this Hornby Railways N15 Sir Dinden, which was one of my earlier reviews. Still a great running locomotive, and my only one in Southern Railways Green. Then we have probably the favourite engine I've got in my collection, the Hornby Railways Caledonian Single. It's just such a unique engine that I can't do better than think of it as the favourite in my collection. Moving on to the big tender engines, here we have my original Hornby Flying Scotsman. This was the biggest engine I had for a long, long time. And it's still probably one of the best ones I have emotionally. Shame about it being tender driven though, as it's not too reliable. Then we have another recently reviewed one, which is this Triang Flying Scotsman, which is somehow a better runner than my newer one, this one being in VR Green. Still a great model. And last but not least, we have this Hornby A4 Mallard, which is not an engine I've yet ran on the new layout, as I'm having problems with my DCC controller. So, yeah, I suppose that's all the engines, at least the currently operational ones. So yeah, that's all the locomotives. I still have all the other locomotives that I've been seeing throughout my videos, but they're either not operational at the moment, or they're somewhere quite unreachable. So, I mean, we've come so far in a year. 300 subscribers, 100 videos. I really don't know how I could thank you all more. So, to leave you on this 100th video special, one year anniversary, 300 subscriber special video, I'll be running the first train ever shown in any of my videos. 
that being my 2008 Hornby Thomas, along with his faithful coaches, Annie and Clarabel. Thank you so much for sticking by me this past year. I can't explain to you how much all this support has meant. And I hope to many more years and many more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.